Thanksgiving this year and uh, to help everybody they've divided the work up and I took the uh, dressing to make and two pies but I'm taking the simple way out on the pies there's a lady here who is making and selling them for Thanksgiving and I ordered a couple from her so I'm going to make the cornbread today that I'll need when I make the dressing. Well it's hard to beat Jiffy cornbread mix or corn muffin mix so I'm going to start with that But for dressing cornbread, it needs to have a little bit more body like this, so I'm going to use a half cup of self-rising flour. You can use regular flour and add a half teaspoon of baking powder to it. Takes an egg. And with the extra flour added, it's going to take about a half a cup of milk. like it's going to take more than that. If I've got all the flour up and all the mix and everything. No, there's some still hasn't been incorporated. Just a little more milk. That's good. Spray the pan here that I'm going to make it in. Get a rubber spatula out here to Okay, set the oven for 400 bake And it should take about 20 minutes or something like that Well, let's have a look at this. It's been 20 minutes now, which should be long enough. Yeah, it's brown on the top there enough.
Well, got that job done. The cornbread for dressing needs to be cooked a day or two ahead of time and then have time to set and rest very well so it'll crumble properly for the dressing. This is a continuation of the uh, cornbread video. Uh, I made the cornbread a couple days ago so it would have time to set. Now I'm going to finish up the dressing today and get it ready to go in the oven. Now I want to correct a misconception now. I'm making dressing, which is a food. Stuffing is used in making sock monkeys. Well the first task today is to dice the onions, celery, red and green pepper, and pre-cook it. There's always a question about how much to make. Well the first thing you want to do is get your pan out that you're going to make it in, fill it with water, and pour that into the mixing bowl you're going to make it in so you know how much to make. Now I don't suppose you want to stand here and watch me chop celery and all of that so I'll cut away at this point. Now you want about a half a stick of butter for the amount I'm going to make. And I'll cook the vegetables in butter. Let that melt. Okay, the butter is melted. So in goes the red and green pepper, the celery, and the onions to pre-cook. I'll pre-cook those until they're soft. Well the vegetables will cook for about 30 minutes and they're getting soft. So what I'll do now is crumble some of this cornbread in there to help take up the excess butter and I added a little olive oil to it. It was a little bit shy on amount of oil. The thing about it, you have to do this just kind of by looks on it. And if it looks right, it is. Okay, that's in there. Now I'll turn this through and get it mixed up here. And in the meantime, I want to break a couple eggs into here. And add some chicken stock in it. and whisk those together. And add the cornbread and mixture to it. Now if you're mixing something in a mixing bowl like this, there's always the question of how much do you need to make to fill what you're going to bake it in. Well, I filled the pan that I was going to bake it in with water and poured it in here to find out how much 
I was going to need to fill that pan. And this is a little short. It So now I can add some more cornbread to it. And I'll fold that in. Well, it's one o'clock, so you know far how far ahead I am. So at this point, we want to add enough chicken stock to come up level with the top of the cornbread. You want this kind of soupy and moist so it doesn't dry out and become hard when you bake it. Now the next thing is the seasoning that you put in there. There's four seasonings that could go in here. There's black pepper, poultry seasoning, sage, and parsley. And we're going to start out with a teaspoon of each. There's a poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning is a mixture of sage and oregano and several things like that. I don't know what all's in it, but it's just so much easier to use that to get all of them than to try to get the right amounts of each one. That's the sage. black pepper and parsley And you need to fold that in well. And the only way to know that if you have enough or not is by tasting it. Well, it needs salt for one thing. So about a teaspoon of salt, I'd say. Get that all distributed through there. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm sampling with the same spoon again. And it needs a little more sage. <clears throat> you can also tell how much sage you have in it or need by the color. It's turning kind of greenish colored. By golly, I think I've got it there. That's that's about where it needs to be. 
that's not quite enough to fill the baking dish I'm going to make it in. So I'll add some more cornbread. Actually the baking dish was four cups. If you're making a big <clears throat> 9 by 13 pan of it, well, you'd want at least twice this much. And you want to add enough stock to it to where it's kind of runny. It will thicken up as you cook it. Maybe a little bit more stock. Yeah, that's coming up fine here. Okay, here's the pan I'm going to cook it in. I'll spray the inside of it. And transfer this across. And see there, it exactly filled it. So what I'll do now is cover this with, uh, with aluminum foil, put it in the refrigerator and keep it till an hour before time to eat. And it'll need about an hour in the oven at 350 degrees. And into the refrigerator. Well, it's about an hour before time to eat, so this will go in the oven now. Okay, 350, bake, and about 40 minutes, and then when that goes off, I'll unwrap it and finish off the top of it. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. Time to uncover it. Yeah, looking fine. So I'll set it for another 20 minutes. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings you give us each day. Thank you for this meal that we're about to partake. And uh, bless all that are here, Lord, and take care of them as they go throughout their lives. And forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Happy.